Well, being interviewed on Comedy Central, President Joe Biden rips Florida lawmakers. His comments made an apparent reaction to Florida law aimed at protecting kids from transgender surgery and gender ideology. Supporters say the, those laws in Florida respect the rights and responsibility of parents. Cap uh, excuse me, White House correspondent Owen Jensen reports. Owen. That's right, Eric. You can see a full clip of the exchange if you want on YouTube. President Biden says what Florida is doing, he calls it, quote, cruel. Now, he talked about passing legislation similar to same-sex marriage to stop them. On The Daily Show, President Joe Biden says now transgender kids is a really harder thing. What's going on in Florida is, as my mother would say, close to sinful. I mean, it's just terrible what they're doing. Slamming lawmakers there and going on to say a few moments later, what are they thinking about here? They're human beings. They love. They have feelings. Meanwhile, today, the president visiting Monterey Park, California, where several were killed or wounded in a January shooting. The president wants to increase the number of background checks to buy guns. Despite passage of the Safer Communities Act last year, mass shootings and gun violence continue. And on the inflation front, it's still high. A trip to the grocery store confirms that. Bread, butter, and eggs all costing more. Inflation at the consumer level was 6% in February, a slowdown from January's 6.4% inflation rate, but it's still way above the Fed's target. And the good news is it didn't uh, surprise anybody. I mean, but the bad news is that inflation is still hot. The new inflation numbers arriving as the collapse of Silicon Valley Bank has shaken the tech industry and Americans might have worries about their own money. Moody's chief economist says priority number one is confidence in the banking system. At the end of the day, the big banks, the guys that really matter, they're they're they they're fine. They're they're in good shape. Also today, over the Black Sea, a Russian fighter jet struck the propeller of an unmanned U.S. surveillance drone. U.S. forces, American forces, then had to bring down that drone. Russia denies the whole thing, saying it did not happen that way, and the U.S. calling it, quote, a brazen violation of international law. At the White House, Owen Jensen, EWTN News Nightly.